Hey and welcome back for another 3D design video in Blender. Today we're going to be making a bow along with a quiver of arrows for our 3D fantasy RPG series. So if you want to model along, go ahead and open up a new Blender session and we'll get started. So the base of the bow is going to be a cylinder which we are going to stretch out, add a bunch of loop cuts, and then just form into the shape of a recurve bow. So let's go ahead and do that. First let's delete the default cube. So let's go to Add, Mesh, and Cylinder. And let's go ahead and put it right in the center. Okay, and we're actually going to move it up the Z-axis by one so we can mirror it about the Z-axis. So we want 12 vertices to start out with, so that's good. Let's go ahead into Object Mode, Edit, and let's actually make it a little bit longer so we can grab that top face. We're gonna pull it up. And we're also going to scale down the overall size, so let's just start with the top here. Hit S on the keyboard, and I'm going to type in 0.5. Let's do the same thing with the bottom. And there's tons of ways to do this. This is just the way that I'm doing it since it's already in the middle. S, 0.5, there we go. And let's also highlight the whole thing and scale it just in one axis to give it a little bit of a flatter oval cross section. So S on the keyboard, and let's see, maybe around the X axis, there we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now let's go ahead and mirror this. Now because the origin sets the mirror plane for the mirror tool, we gotta make sure that the origin is at the bottom here where we want the mirror plane to be. So first we wanna set the cursor at the bottom here, so let's go ahead into edit mode, select the face, shift S and say cursor to center. So that'll move the cursor to the center there. We go to object mode, we see that the origin is way up here. We wanna set origin to 3D cursor, there we go. Now let's go back into edit mode, add modifier, mirror, and mirror about the z-axis. Okay, and make sure not to hit apply because that finalizes everything and we want it to constantly mirror while we're manipulating our loop cuts. So let's go ahead right into manipulating our loop cuts, moving around some vertices, some edges and faces to make a recurve bow shape. Okay, so once you have the loop cuts where you want them location-wise, you can then rotate those a little bit so it kind of goes along the curve of the bow a little bit better. So you can do that just by highlighting the loop by holding down control, clicking the loop cut, and then hitting R on the keyboard to rotate it. Now with all the loop cuts rotated, we're gonna go ahead and scale them so it tapers as it goes towards the end of the limbs of the bow. So you can do that just by highlighting the loop cuts, hitting S on the keyboard, and it scales it down uniformly. So go ahead and do that with the rest of the loop cuts as well. Okay, this is looking really awesome so far. So we're done mirroring, so we can go ahead and hit apply. So we need to go into object mode, and hit apply, there we go. So the next thing that we're going to do is create the little shelf that the arrow sits on when you have it loaded in the bow. And we're gonna do that just by importing a shape, turning it into a wedge, and then placing it where we want that cutout to be. Then we're gonna use a modifier to cut it out. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to add mesh, and we're gonna use a cube, okay? So we want this to be on the left side, so we're gonna place it over here. Okay, let's go into edit mode. And so we're just gonna grab this edge and move it out a little bit. There we go. Go into object mode. Let's put it in a place right about here. Where's the middle of the bow actually? So the middle of the bow is up here, so we wanna move it to about right there. Might need to move that out a little bit more. Let's go ahead into edit mode. Grab that edge, move it out. Okay, let's grab this edge and move it in. So this is gonna basically be in the center line of the bow because you want the arrow to come straight out of the center of the bow and not towards the side or anything. That way you can aim just straight ahead of you. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead back into object mode 
and let's actually make sure that we're practicing good management up here by changing the cylinder to bow and renaming the cube to uh, arrow shelf there we go okay so with the bow selected we can go over to modifier and we want to select the boolean modifier so the object that we want to use as the cutout object is going to be the arrow shelf and we want to set that to difference so now if we hit apply and we hide the arrow shelf we can see a little cutout was formed there okay very nice so the next thing that we want to do is create a string and that's going to be really simple it's just going to be made out of a plain cylinder okay that looks pretty good now what we're going to do is add some loops on the ends of the limbs on both the top and the bottom so that looks like the string is actually attached to the bow. So in object mode we can go to add, mesh, and torus. Let's shrink that down a lot. And we can move it into place. There we go. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead into edit mode. And now what we want to do is mirror it so that's on this side as well. So we can go to add modifier mirror and the mirror object that we want is the bow. So let's go ahead and select bow. And it's going to be about the Z axis. And there we go. You can see it at the bottom here. Perfect. So hit apply. Oh, we have to go into object mode. So now we can apply. There we go. So the bow is complete. Now the next thing that we want to do is create a quiver, and that's going to be really simple as well. What we're going to do is take a cylinder, we're going to taper it down to one side, and we're going to move up some vertices and edges around so it kind of comes out to a point at the top. You'll see what I mean in a second. So in object mode, let's go to add, mesh, and cylinder. There we go just to give it a little bit of flair. So to make this an actual vessel, what we want to do is delete the top face right here. Delete the face and go into modifier and we're going to use the solidify modifier to make it an actual solid vessel. So you can see that it already added a little bit of a wall thickness there, but we want to increase that. Let's try 0.1. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's hit apply. Oh, again, we need to be in object mode to apply some of these modifiers. All right. So let's go ahead and add a strap to our quiver. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the bow. We're going to start out with just a long cylinder and adjust the cross sections, add some loop cuts, and move those loop cuts into a natural kind of organic or strap shape. All right, so far so good. So the last thing that we need to do is create an arrow. And again, we're just gonna start out with a cylinder. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and add an arrowhead to it. We can do that by adding a cube. So let's go to mesh cube. We're gonna shrink that down a little bit. And I think the best thing to do in this situation is probably just go ahead and add some loop cuts on in many different directions and just mold it into whatever shape that you want as an arrowhead.
All right, I could honestly work on this for hours and hours, so I think I'm gonna stop right there for the arrowhead. I think that looks pretty good. So the last thing that we're gonna do is put fletchings on the back of the arrow, and that's gonna be really simple. We're just going to import a cube, we're gonna stretch it out, and then we're gonna copy that into a row, of, and then we're gonna duplicate that a couple of times around the arrow. So, so let's go ahead and do that. I think that's about the right size. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and use an array modifier to duplicate this. Let's go to add modifier and array, and we want this just to move in the Z direction. So let's put zero for the offset, and we're going to move it about, let's see, 0.1, how far does that go? We want it a little bit farther than that, how about 0.15? Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's just up the count here. There we go, very nice, that looks awesome. Okay. Let's hit apply. Oh, again, we have to be in object mode to apply. So let's hit apply. And now we want to rename this arrow fletching. All right, awesome. And now what we want to do is duplicate this and rotate it. So it's going to be rotated about what would that be, 120 degrees was, would be how much it's rotated. So that's one third of 360. So let's select the object, Shift D to duplicate. I'm gonna hit Enter just to leave it where it is. And then R to rotate, and then Z to rotate about the Z axis. And you'll see the little blue uh, line down here, which will appear once you select an axis to rotate around. And so we're gonna type in 120 to rotate 120 degrees. Hit Enter, and now let's just move it into place. Okay, so this is looking really awesome. Let's go ahead and add a bunch of color to our models. So the final thing that we want to do is take this arrow, place it in the quiver, and duplicate it so it looks like a quiver full of arrows ready to go out hunting. So if we highlight the whole arrow, we can hit R on the keyboard, we're gonna rotate it around the x-axis by 180 degrees. Okay, and now let's take a top view, place it in the quiver and duplicate it. All right, I think that about does it for this one. This one turned out really awesome. I'm really excited about it. I actually tried this a couple of days ago and it didn't turn out nearly as well, so I'm extremely satisfied with this. So definitely give this one a try, and when you do, make sure that you tweet me a picture of your final design. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave it down in the comments below. This one was actually a suggestion from a subscriber, so definitely keep your ideas coming. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram for cool renders and animations of the designs that you see on the channel. So this week's question is, what is your favorite weapon from a video game or movie? I know that's extremely open-ended and there's tons of awesome weapons out there, but go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'd love to start a discussion and hear what you guys have to say. So thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.